Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our Indie Rundown YouTube page. This is Zach here, and uh, I wanted to do a quick little video today. Um, I wanted to do a trailer breakdown on the in-game Super Bowl trailer or TV spot. Um, probably the only good highlight of the entire Super Bowl. Um, it's pretty bad. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, run through this TV spot real quick, frame by frame, and, you know, just give my quick thoughts. Because, as a fan, you know, I'm always looking at YouTube breakdowns. You know, I watch a lot. I watch other people talk about them. And I'm always one to want to give my thoughts, you know, because I love comic book movies. I love superhero films. You know, I, I love the universe, the MCU. So, you know, I'm always talking to other people about my theories and speculations and stuff like that. So I thought, why not just do my own? You know, I'll just do my own breakdown. So we're just going to run through this real quickly, frame by frame. As you see, it starts off with a, uh, a little montage reminding us who we lost in the last film, Infinity War. You know, you got Hope uh, from the first Ant-Man, uh, the Wasp. Then you got, you know, Nick Fury, looks like a shot from the first Avengers. You got Spider-Man um, from Civil War where he's holding the shield. You got Doctor Strange here with the Cloak of Levitation. Uh, Falcon here from, uh, I believe that's from Civil War as well. Uh, Scarlet Witch from Infinity War. You got the Guardians here um, from the first film. And note that Rocket's in this shot, and he's still with us. But uh, I'm sure it wasn't easy to find a group photo where Rocket wasn't there. So uh, I can give a pass for that. Um, you got Black Panther here, you know, Winter Soldier, and Vision. Um, everybody we lost in the last film. And uh, I liked how they gave that little nod of the ones we're missing right now. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool the color tones they used, uh, the black and white with the with the reds to kind of match with the Marvel Studios logo that really really slaps us in the face and reminds us like you know of, of everything that happened with the, with the dusting. But um, yeah, it's a cool little intro and it leads right into this first shot of Manhattan. Um, and and man, just look at the color tones, dude. It's it's dark blue. It's it's just grim. It's foggy. It's cloudy. It really looks like a dystopian alternative. Uh, you know, just apocalyptic future in a sense, because, you know, it, it really just, uh, you got to really understand the magnitude of what happened. Half of all life on this planet disappeared up into thin air, you know, civilians, superheroes, plant life, animals, just everything. So, you know, it really sets the tone of what this world looks for now. And moving on to this next shot with the Statue of Liberty. Now, this is a shot that really stands out to me, man, because if you notice, all around there's boats ships everything just sitting here and it makes you really under it, it makes you think about what happened you know a lot of these ships the drivers just vanished and now they've just drifted off and just collected themselves around this island of uh the statue of liberty and it's it's really haunting to think about because imagine some guys were on these boats with their families their daughters their kids their their wives you know fit friends fishing just enjoying everyday life these civilians and they just suddenly disappear you know what what do you do from that imagine like civilians that aren't superheroes they don't know who thanos is they don't even know who the avengers are they're just everyday civilians like you and me and they just randomly start disappearing imagine how disturbing that is like what, what do civilians think what happened when thanos did what he did i want to know what the civilians thought happened i guess they thought it was the rapture or something it's like how do you how do you deal with that you know and um it's just a haunt it's just a very haunting image to see all these boats and shit just stranded out here by the statue of liberty it's like nothing you know and all the survivors it doesn't look like there's any survivors i don't see any civilians walking around or out here and it just makes you wonder like where is everybody you know and that leads right into this next shot of uh city field you know the home of the mets um a very stranded baseball field it's like sports is no longer a thing you know the world is just disintegrated into chaos i mean look at the look at the cars man all around the stadium the the vehicles the the buses the the construction vehicles it's just it looks like a it looks like a zombie apocalypse swept through new york city and now there's just nothing the baseball field's dirty the stands look like some have collapsed a little bit it just looks like utter chaos and i really think they're going to do a good job showing what the world has come to i don't know how long this is going to take place after infinity war i've heard rumors that you know it could be soon after it could be years after we, we just don't know yet but from what it looks like it looks like this has been sitting here for a while untouched um and and, and once again with the no statue of liberty there's no survivors there's no people walking around it just looks deserted you know so it's it's very haunting and very grim but i like it you know it's 
it's something we haven't seen yet in the MCU. So let's move on to this next clip. It's uh, it looks like a grief counseling session. There's a poster here that says, "Where do we go now that they're gone?" And it looks like you know they're talking about the Avengers or superheroes. You know, and that leads me to believe like. The remaining Avengers, did they just go into hiding? Um, this implies that there's no superheroes around anymore. Did they just stop fighting to, you know, come together and think of a plan? I, I, I don't know. But it but it definitely looks like the uh, the age of superheroes is, is no more, in a way. And you can see some people here. I, I can't really make out who these guys are. But, you know, I'm sure it's people. It could be civilians. It could be higher up people. It could be other superheroes. I'm not sure. But it looks like they're all coming together because they probably all lost someone very important to them. Family members, friends, you know, what have you. And uh, it looks like a counseling session. And then we bounce to this next shot of, of Cap. And he looks, he looks fucking irritated. Pissed, irritated. I don't know what's going on in his mind right now. Um, maybe he's acting as a civilian in a sense. And... I don't know. It kind of comes off to me as whoever he's in that room with, maybe they're talking bad about superheroes. I, I don't know. You can just, you can tell he's pissed off. Or maybe he's remembering everything that Thanos did and he's just really out for revenge now because his facial tics, you know, he just, he looks determined and like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we're about to do something about this. And it goes along with the narration of, you know, some people move on but not us and then it cuts right to this shot i love it cuts right to tony and nebula hard at work and i get really good iron man one vibes from this this is this is probably my favorite shot in the entire new uh, tv spot um i can't tell if they're on the milano the guardian ship or if they're on titan getting the milano ready to take off because as far as i know in infinity war when the guardians landed on the milano there i don't think there was any problems with the ship so I don't know why they'd be working on the Milano per se. Maybe they're in sp in deep space. Um, maybe the Milano malfunctions or runs out of fuel. I don't know. And maybe they have to repair it. Something happens. I don't know. But all I know is this shot is fucking awesome, dude. It really shows you the dire consequences of what's happened. Like Tony and Nebula coming together to do what they have to do to survive, you know. And I, I really want to know what they're doing here and what they're talking about, what they're fixing, what their plan is. You know, so this really sparked a lot of hope for me. Um, and of course, let's be real, after the first trailer we got, we all know Tony's not going to die out in deep space. You know, he's going to find a way back. So this was cool to see. I'm glad they put this little nugget in the uh, TV spot. So let's move on to this next clip where you got Cat, Bruce, Natasha, and, uh, and Rhodes outside of the headquarters. They're looking at something. Something's coming down. Now, it could be Tony returning to, uh, to the facility in the ship with Nebula. It could be an evil threat coming. It could be another Avenger coming. You know, you just never know. But uh, boy, they look intrigued at what's coming towards them. So you got here, uh, you got Rocket for the first time. We didn't see him in the first trailer. Um, he's opening a door to what looks to be a shed or a hut. Uh, a lot of people are saying this looks like Thanos' hut, but I disagree. I don't know where this is. Um, some people are saying Wakanda to it. Might could be Wakanda, but it's just too hard to tell right now. But. Uh, Here's the nugget about this, and I know a lot of people have been talking about this. This is the fucking outfit straight from the comics, man. This had me jumping for joy. The blue and red with the double holsters, man. This is classic Rocket Raccoon for me, and I want to know what he's doing and what this place is. But, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what he's up to, because he's the only Guardian left, man. It's That's got a way... That, I can't really imagine how how much it weighs on Rocket's mind. He is the only one left. All of the closest friends he knew, Gamora, Star-Lord, Drax, even, and of course Groot, they're all gone, you know? So what does Rocket do from here? He's lost everyone he loves. You know, he still has the Avengers and stuff. I know they probably do a good job of consoling him, but man, this little guy, he lost everything. So I'm curious to see what his mental state is gonna be in this movie, you know? So, but let's move on to this next shot. Um, you got my girl Scarlet Witch looks to be in supreme beast mode right here. I mean, look at that look at that scowl on her face, man. She is ready to put a bullet in somebody's head. She looks pissed and rightfully so. Um, I love the hairstyle. Her hair looks a little bit longer, so this might be a little forward in time. She looks like she's at the facility, so uh, yeah, she she looks like she's about to be on a mission. So I'm I'm excited to see where this goes now moving on to this shot we got ant-man and war machine suiting up um 
I don't know why they would be shooting up right here in the office. It looks like they're in an office or a conference room at the facility. Uh, maybe there's a looming threat or somebody barges in or there's some danger going on in the facility. Maybe we get a fight scene in the facility or something like that, but they are definitely shooting up for something. Next up, we got Thor looking very serious and determined. I don't know where he is. It's clearly too hard to tell. I think he's on Wakanda here. But yeah, he looks like he's got some shit going on in his head right now. He's he's thinking about something. And it leads to this shot where a lot of people are saying this is Thanos' hut. And I highly disagree. I think this is on Wakanda here. This might actually be like right after Infinity War. Um, I'm not sure. He's got Stormbreaker here. He's got the beautiful red cape. This looks like a ship of sorts that he's walking out of. I want to say... Um, I don't know, it might be a Wakandan ship, it might be one of the leftover alien ships from their invasion. It's too hard to tell at this point in time, but it, looking in the background, the mountains, and the, in the, the layout, and the grass, it definitely looks like Wakanda. Um, so, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see why he, this, like I said, this, this looks to me like it's after the Battle of Wakanda, they're kind of regrouping and, you know, figuring out what to do, and he's, you know, just thinking about all the stuff that's happened to him, and, um... You know, it's it's got to be weighing heavily on him as well, knowing that he came so close to killing Thanos. But like my boy told him, he should have gone for the head, homeboy. But uh, anyways, we, next up we got a badass looking shot of Hawkeye here, all red. Uh, got the classic arrows. I don't know. I think he might start the movie off as Ronan. Um, maybe Scarlet Witch goes and or Scarlet Witch. Uh, maybe Black Widow goes and finds him, and he kind of adopts his Hawkeye persona back again towards the end of the movie. Because he's got the arrows again. Now in that first trailer, we didn't see arrows on, on Hawkeye. So now he's got... Or excuse me, Ronan. We did not, but now he's got the arrows. So I don't know if later on he stops being Ronan and goes back to Hawkeye. Or just combines the two. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, this shot looks badass. This looks this looks like it could kind of be out in space somewhere. I mean, it looks like there's rocks back here and some floating things. It could be floating things. But it also looks like there's water in a sense. It's maybe a crack. This, I don't. I can't tell if that's water or if that's smoke. It looks like smoke, but uh, it looks like maybe uh, after a, a, a ship crashed or something, and, and he's looking up at something. Clearly, something red is illuminating on him. So I, I can't really imagine what would uh, maybe lights from a ship or something. Maybe he's infiltrating a ship or you know something like that. I, I, I can't tell too much, but it's it's a badass shot and. It's nice to see Hawkeye back into the fold, man. We missed him in Infinity War, but, you know, I understood why he wasn't there. So, let's move on to this money shot. It's Cap trembling heavily. Uh, I mean, look at that twitch in his hand, dude. He looks terrified here. Strapping up that strap in the classic shield. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh my god, it's Cap's shield. Time travel confirmed. Guys, his shield was already at the facility. You know, he didn't lose it. In Civil War, he left it there, and Tony presumably brought it back to the facility. So it's been at the facility, or it could be a new shield. You know, this doesn't confirm that there's time travel. Yeah, I personally, honestly, think there's time travel involved in this film, but you know, this doesn't confirm or deny anything. Like I said, this could be a new shield, his old shield. You know, we just don't know. But all I know is it's pretty fucking badass to see him with this shield again. So knowing that he's gonna have the shield again, you know, there's rumors that Thor's gonna have Mjolnir again. Uh, it's going to be nice to see all these emblems come back. But yeah, he's it, he's gearing up for a fight here. Somebody's in front of him. He's about to whip somebody's ass. But at the same time, like I said, that hand trembling, you know, that means, you know, he's, he's getting into some shit. Because we don't really see Cap tremble like that. Matter of fact, I don't think we've ever seen him tremble like that. So, yeah, uh, some shit's about to go down here. Um, maybe Thanos, maybe someone else. You never know. And then it leads into this last shot here with Cap saying, not us, once more time. Really talking about us as the Avengers. You know, we're on a mission. It looks like that's Cap in the front with his shield. And, you know, it looks like you got, uh, looks like it's Thor behind him. And then uh, Black Widow and then Rocket, obviously. And I think that's Hawkeye behind him. And then Ant-Man and War Machine back there. Now, a lot of people are saying uh, there's a big spot here for the Hulk. And... Maybe they CGI'd Hulk out because there's rumors that he's going to be Professor Hulk in this film. So that'd be really cool if that's the case. Um, because we saw this shot, I think, in the first Avengers trailer and nobody was in it. It just looked like a, a dead pan across the, the facility. Um, so they clearly they clearly CGI'd everybody out for the first trailer. But now I think there's still 
Hulk missing, and you never know what you never know with the MCU. There could be even more people in this shot that they that they took out. So it, this could be like a fucking fifty person shot. They're all leaving the facility. You never know, but. Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. They're all leaving for whatever mission they're going on. I can't tell if this is before the events unfold because a lot of people are saying, you know, and the director said that a lot of the marketing material is going to be from the first 15, 20 minutes of the film. So that kind of makes me wonder if this is right before they go off and start the actual mission for the film, which I still think involves time traveling through the quantum realm. So yeah, man, it, it's hard to tell, honestly, because these trailers have so have such little information but at the same time i love it because it keeps us as theorists fueling you know it gives us more fuel to the fire it, it lets our brains wonder because we really still don't know anything about this movie um and i really like that they're doing this because i don't want to know too much you don't need 50 trailers to help sell us on this movie we we know what this movie is we know the stakes we know it's going to be the biggest movie of the mcu you know we thought infinity war was but this is clearly going to be 10 times bigger than infinity war so we don't need everything in the trailers, man. This is good enough, dude. It keeps us theorizing like this, and it's always fun to do. So, and then it closes out with the uh, with the April logo. They don't show the in-game logo. Um, it just goes straight to April with the uh, Avengers A here. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's February, so two more months. Thankfully, we don't have too much longer to wait. So it's 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 going to be interesting to see. So last year they released a trailer around March. And it seems like they're following the same format, so I'm thinking we might get one more trailer sometime in March, like the, the final go-home trailer before they start really ramping up with all the TV spots here in late March and then mid-April and late April and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll probably get one more big trailer, and of course, I'll do a breakdown on that too. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys, give my thoughts on the trailer, because people always ask me, what do you think, you know, what do you think's going on here, blah, 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 so... This is kind of fun to do. I'm going to start doing this more often, and uh, hopefully this was informative. And like I said, I know everybody has their own opinion, but I just wanted to give mine. And, you know, if there's any uh, comic book fans or superhero fans that always want to collaborate and talk talk comic and geek stuff with me, hit me up, man. Send me a message. So that's going to do it here for this trailer breakdown. Just uh, subscribe to the channel. Give it a like, man. Talk about it. Comment what you think. Uh, let us know, man. And we'll start pushing out more content like this because I'm really going to start hopping on this once the MCU starts ramping up. You know, Captain Marvel, Endgame, Spider-Man. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But until then, guys, this has been Zach from the Indie Rundown. I'll see you next time. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast.